no plan. I'm just going to share some stuff, share some sounds, share some code. Let me know how the levels are for all you folks out there. <laughs> All zero of you watching. All right, let's uh, let's just get into it. I've got a rhythm, uh, a drum machine kit going. Let me know how the levels are. Let's uh, let's make some uh, harmer sounds first. Let's get a stupid patch going here. Here's our default. Let's uh, do something more interesting here. This is uh, this is my standard. go-to patch here. Let's do, uh, I've been working with a f wonky filter shape recently. Let's do, um, kind of like a sawtooth shape kind of thing for the, for the filter shape. And then really scoop this out like so. So this creates like, it's like a, it's like two band passes. And let's put that right in the middle. I'm going to wire this up to the X controller. And and then let's uh, let's put an LFO on this thing. Frequency LFO. I don't want to spend too much time in, in the synth here, but, but uh, just want to get kind of a goofy patch going. That sounds pretty nice. I'll wire up the pitch envelope to the Y. Don't know what this is gonna sound like when we get some drums in here. All right, we'll we'll fiddle with that later. Uh, let's put some um, compression. Can adjust the levels later. Um. Oh wait, that's not on the right channel. We want that on two. Yes, I'm back. Why not? Let's let's do some streaming, huh? I've I've actually been suffering some a lot of from a lot of technical difficulties that have really made me really not interested in streaming. But I'm I just thought you know it's fine. Uh, I've got the most convoluted setup, and you can't see it, but it's just it drives me nuts. All right, let's um. So um, let's we can we can start from this here. So let's do. I I, I don't know where I'm going to go with this. Let's do. Um, let's just make a, a, a like a pattern structure here. Um, <laughs> um, And let's 
Sorry, I don't have fancy characters in my chat. I gotta work on that. Um, what does this sound like? Oh, so the one thing about struct with randomness, you can't, it's gonna sample the, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna talk through that right now. Let's do gain, pat. Let's layer in some harmor. We'll make a stack, cause that's what we do. Just playing code golf right now. So this keyboard noise is probably coming through the mic. Sorry. Um, uh, all right, so we've got kind of our kick uh, drum pattern there. Let's add the Harmer synth in. Um, that's on each hand. Zero. I think that's right. Let's put a little bit of side chain in there to kind of make sure the Synth doesn't, uh, oh, so that the drums stick out a little bit. Let's do side chain. <laughs> I was thinking this would be kind of a title tutorial kind of stream, but this, I'm just kind of designing sounds here, I guess. <laughs> going to let's put um there's an interesting behavior with harmer uh with the pluck uh normally pluck will make a plucky sound um but you can you can actually kind of hijack the uh pluck shape it's kind of like a low pass gate sort of thing i think i think that's actually kind of what it is but you can actually have the response of the decay be uh, like a, a wave function instead of like a linear low to high frequency response. So then if you do this in blur, you kind of get these weird overtones in there. Which is pretty sweet. Sometimes the, sometimes the harmonizer sounds good in there too. I mean, uh, uh, hopefully the levels of the mic and everything are sounding good out there. Yeah, here we go. All right, let's 
put some, uh, what are we gonna do? Where are we gonna go with this? Let's put some controls in here. So let's, uh, I'm gonna do some uh, MIDI learning on the fly here. We'll do S Harmer. Code Nobi, wow. How are you? Uh, we'll do CCN1, CCV. Uh, I'm just setting up kind of a random pattern to just generate uh, a random control change message. Um, so that should come through, we'll put this on X. So now we got random on X on CC1, CC2, we'll send the Y. Um, yeah. Um, let's also control the, I don't know, I don't think I wanna touch the width. Um, let's also put a control on the LFO speed. You know, I'm gonna need some variables for this. So we'll do, um, uh, so the filter equals was CCN1. We'll do CCN1. No, you know what? We're gonna put a pattern. We're gonna make, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna code this with the kit and the caboodle at the same time, like so. Uh, Detune, pat. That was on two. Let's put uh, the LFO speed on three. So then we can just do, um, let's make sure we eval that. Did that work? Yep. Icklick. I miss Icklick. LFO speed. That should work. I'm gonna get out of chat so I can make sure my code's running. Yep, okay, so LFO speed, we'll put that on this. And we'll have to define some good ranges here, but we'll worry about that later. Uh, LFO speed, we got, we also have LFO tension and skew. Those are kind of fun things to play with. We'll do LFO tension, LFO skew. And we'll do LFO tension. I normally wouldn't wire all this stuff up from scratch, but that's just how I'm doing it. LFO skew. Um, and let's do prism. Actually, I think I already have prism wired up in my custom functions here. Let's see if I'm right. I do, but it's not, it doesn't accept a pattern. So let's, let's, oops, let's change that. Prism, this is really boring because there's no sound right now. Okay, prism, let's wire that up here. Okay, let's get back to some, to some sound here. And let's start, uh, wiring in those MIDI controls. <laughs> all right, so in wiring up all the randomness, now this is just sounding really goofy. Uh, all right, so our LFO speed, we, we kind of want that to be in a sweet spot here. I don't know what it's supposed to be or what I what's a good range yet, but let's not worry about that. Let's just dial that in and then let's um we'll do lfo speed uh let's put it at 80 i don't know that's on harmer channel zero Alright, 
so and this sounds just crazy um and then i think our x we're also going to want to limit our x range to i just kind of know where the the some of the spots are here i just want to i i i'm not going to talk through it all all right so x we kind of want to limit how far that goes um i think that's about <laughs> oh that's heavy <laughs> uh yeah that's not so bad actually um why is it sounding like that actually let's kind of get things back to where wow that is gnarly why is it so why is it so loud Take a little bit of that low end out <laughs> on the synth. It's really down there. There we go. It's not all bad, but right. so I'm kind of thinking of maybe changing all of these parameters, like you know, every eight cycles or something let's uh, uh so if we do uh we need like a good range here so uh, we'll do segment um one slow eight so it changes every eight cycles uh, range we'll do 80 to 100 um i've got a custom function called sh rand which will um Oh, I've given a explanation about this before, well, before, um, in past streams, which is a long time ago, basically where the, um, uh, kind of using the rand function to generate a random value between 80 and 100, but I, I created a custom function called shrand, which will also shift time around so that I get a unique value per, um, pattern. Uh, yeah. Okay. So or LFO speed. Let's do the same with a couple of the other parameters. We'll do prism. We'll give it a different SHRAND. So I have filter and detune. Let's get those in here. Filter. Detune. Is that what it was? Yeah, detune. So prism, we can make that the full range. Uh, filter, I think we can make these the full range as well. I don't think the LFO speed is changing much. There we go. Now it is. All right, so we don't fatigue our ears. Let's stop just for, for a moment. All right, so now I'm going to add in the LFO uh, tension and skew. Let's put those down here. You know, we might clean this up with some more code golf here. Um, LFO tension, LFO skew.
So these tension and skew parameters, um, so I don't really have a super important goal here, but um, they can, uh, sometimes there's some bad interaction between certain combinations of these values and they don't sound quite right. So I might have to tweak that. Uh, am I controlling harmer parameters via MIDI controls sent from title? Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. So this filter, for example, is uh, going to the harmer device, which I have set up right here. So I've got a device called harmer, which uh, is actually uh, going to the IAC driver. And that's just, yeah, wired up in my DAW. Um, hopefully you can see this. So I've got my IAC driver and I am listening on the Harmer channel here. Yeah, it's, it's getting all of its data from that, that driver on channel one. So yeah, it's all coming from title. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then I've got in the stack here, I've got just kind of a basic, uh, a different pattern going to my, uh, rhythm drum machine. Um, so, okay, before I go on, this is a super nerdy thing with code, but having to type the same stuff all the time here just drives me nuts. Um, so let's do, let's do something really boring and we'll do, um, Harmer CC and we'll give this a, um, min and a max and, uh, a number. And we'll do slow eight segment one range min max. Um, and then I think we should be able to. Oh, yeah. And then actually we can do armor. I think we can just do that. So then instead of filter, we can type. Uh, yeah, fill. Okay. And then, uh, sorry, <laughs> this is hard to keep straight. Um, yeah. Okay. 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 So then we're going to do inside filter. We'll do Harmer CC. What was my min and max zero and one twenty seven Harmer CC zero one twenty seven, um, uh, and a number. What did I give it before? 300. Does this work? No, that failed. What did I do? Oh, I don't want to mess with this right now. Uh, I was just trying to be sneaky and just type less code, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not into figuring that out. So we're just gonna keep this verbose. You know, we can we can make it a little. Let's do this. We'll do. Uh, CC factor equals slow eight segment one. Then we can at least get rid of some of this. That should work. No, that didn't work either. Ah. Uh. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, super boring stuff. We'll get back to sounds in a sec. Bear with me. The nice thing about putting this stuff in a variable then is then I can change how often it, it, it's going to randomize. So instead of slow eight, I could change it to slow four and then they're all going to change at the same time, which is what I want. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great trick, Cleary. Thank you. Nice. Um, <laughs> this is <laughs> this is fun. This sounds. Oh yeah. 
This is sounding great. All right, so I know there's some title fans in the room, but uh, on the on the MIDI side in the synth, I'm going to add some smoothing to the changes, so everything's going to slide instead of being a, um, a, a an immediate change. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Um, was that everything? Oh, that LFO too. Um, so everything is going to kind of ease into the next value rather than it being an abrupt change. And I just want to see what this sounds like. Sometimes it sounds good, sometimes it's it's not so good. But. Yeah, that's... I don't know if I like that so much. <laughs> Some parameters, it's just a little too extreme. You get that really big washy harmonic sound, which is like, eh, eh, is that good? I don't know. Let's take it off the filter. Let's see what that does. Uh, I don't want to worry too much about it. Uh, let's speed this pattern up a little bit. Um, I'm going to take that smoothing out. I'm, not, I'm just not feeling it. Let's take it out of everything. Yeah, maybe we'll leave it in the LFO, but take it out of the like the sound params. I don't know. All right, so oh yeah, thanks. Super pang. It's a good, it's a good t-shirt. Okay, so uh, a few directions we could go with this. Um, let me make my code a little smaller because it's. I want to. I want to see more on the screen at once here. I don't know if you viewers at home can see this. Okay. Um, so a few different directions I could go. Either start to vary up the pattern a little bit. It'd be cool if like it changed the sequence. This this pattern I have defined. Like, what if I could change that every four cycles when the synth patch changes too? Uh, can yeah that 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 should work. Like if we did a how do you do that? How do you do like a random pattern change from like a list of patterns every four cycles? How would you do that? If there's any title fans in the room, feel free to suggest something. Um, like for example, if I had pat one, pat two, pat three, and if these are all, you know, different, I don't know. And then I want to do like select pat equals, you know, a rand cat. I don't, I don't know if this is the right syntax, but something like this. And then in here do gain select pat. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, non scope pat. Oh, yeah, of course. So let's do um, just to make this compile pat equals pat one. No. Yeah, rand cat. Uh, let's just do a simple example down here. Let's see if we can figure this out. So, a kick drum. That's not the right channel. There. Um, so let's define a couple patterns here. We'll do, let's go back up and do this. We'll just copy that down here. 
I'll try not to hit the keyboard so so hard. I, I've got my microphone right on the desk, so it's picking up every. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't couldn't resist. So if we do gain pat one, this should work. Right. So what if I wanted to do? Oh, you know, I think you, I think what you need to do is rand cat and then gain pat one, gain pat two. I think this will work. Yeah. So you just you can't just have a string pattern. I think you have to put rand cat needs like a full title. Uh, I don't know what it's called, like an actual synth pattern. Gain is an example, or sound, or MIDI chan, or in the sample world, if you had like an N or a note uh, pattern, those would work. So let's do that. Let's do gain. I'll th all we have to do is put gain here, I think. And then, oh, but how do you do every four cycles, though? <laughs> Hey dude, thanks for joining. Uh, okay, so then, yeah, but how would you only do this every four, every four cycles? Um, let's make a simple example so I can hear what's going on here. So if we do like one times 16, one times 24, one times 30, Okay, so now it's randomly picking between three different patterns here. But I want it to hold the selection for four cycles. How the hell do you do that with Randcat? I don't know if I want to waste too much time on that because I kind of want to focus more on the sounds here, I guess, but um, let me just, yeah, like if we did um, slow four, but then fast four, I think this might do it. This would then hold the pattern for four cycles, but by slowing it down. Yeah, that does it. Okay, so so then our pat a select pat will be um, slow four. And we'll put a fast four in front of all those. It's kind of a hack, I guess. There's probably a more elegant way to do that. Um, segment could go longer than than one, so. It, it used to, like you could do 0 0.25 to have it go for four cycles or 0 0.125 for eight cycles. But I, I, I know that used to work, um, but I've had quirky behavior with that. So I always did, I started doing the slow instead to slow it down. Um, so yeah, I guess I have the same, same comment, same concern as what you just said there. Cause I've, I've noticed some quirkiness unless I do it this way. All right, so let's just see what this sounds like. Oh, uh, gain, select pat. Then we'll get back to the sounds. Um, all right. No, oh, what's going on? Didn't work. Fast four. What did I do? Select pat. Oh, uh, I, there we go. No, select pat, and then we need to put a P on the end of that. No, select pat is applied to, oh yeah, no, we need to go like that. Damn it. Gain. 
Oh gosh. Oh, we got it in two spots here. There we go. Yeah, so now it's changing the, the rhythm every four cycles. I'm gonna make a variable for how often to do it and just plug it in here. Get a hi hat in there. Um, I've been a big fan of just making uh, additional voices happen after a regular voice and not bothering with a second pattern. Um, so I'm going to do that here. So this is our main drum pattern. Drums, synth notes, synth. Controls. Okay, so then for drums, we'll do. Um, I've got a shortcut for sometimes by and some cycles by. It's just SB and SSB. So we'll do um, sometimes by 0 0.2. We'll do off, no, stut with 2, 16th note. And we'll set it to MIDI Chan 10 on the drum machine, which is the hi hat. Actually, let's bump the probability way up. Let's do like 80% of the time. Some of these, <laughs> some of these combinations of these parameters are just, they're just stupid. It's great. Um, all right, let's have it change less often. Um, what could we do next? Um, I'm thinking maybe we could add some texture in the background. Uh, or uh, I don't want to. I'm thinking maybe we could also dial in some of the. Some of the some of the sounds a little bit uh, like the filter. I think when it has a higher range, it sounds a little bit better. Repeat a crackle. I'm going to look at the LFO for a sec here. <laughs> so if you remember the LFO easing that we put in, or the smoothing, so I've got the smoothing enabled, so you can actually see the LFO like morph as it changes here. Let's do tension.
this is great. Um, all right, let's get uh, some texture in here. Um, hey, I've already got some texture. Um, let's start from scratch. Let's do. Um, so this is. I'm. I'm just kind of going off camera to the uh, the the rhythm, rhythm. That always sounds really awkward to say, in like American English, rhythm. But that's what it is. The the rhythm. I've got. Uh, uh it's the bass tom pad, but I, I I tend to use it for um, for more for textural sample stuff. So I've got um. Uh, sorry about all the mic noise, but that's <laughs> mic noise. Get it? My name is Mike, so it's noisy. So uh, let's let's find a different sample. I'm gonna back off like the overdrive and some of the other effects I've got here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna reveal some secrets. Let's do that, shall we? So I'm gonna reset everything. Uh, I'm gonna set up a basic pattern here to just play that pad. Um, so we'll do D1. This is MIDI chain four. Uh, yeah, this is a sample from an old track. Um, it's gonna find a different. I'd like to talk about. 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 I'd like to talk. That sound familiar? All right, so let's let's do this one. Uh, so I'm gonna tune it down. Let's play a lower note too, like C2. <laughs> this might not. All right, yeah, I think we can work with this one. Um, so then, what I've what I've been like uh, enjoying doing lately is putting a, a bandpass filter on this. Like so, uh, but then using the the rhythms LFO to kind of modulate that bandpass in a with the saw wave. So let me just wire that up here. So you kind of get this effect. So that LFO is just free running, and it's totally independent of when the sample is triggered. Uh, and then just add some reverb. Delay. Uh, I can kind of fine tune the, the start and end points of the sample too, but I'm not gonna mess too, too much with that. Uh, I could throw in a little bit of overdrive to get it, give it some grit. I found in the rhythm that um, the overdrive um, really kind of interacts with the filter really well. Uh, it it's more of an effect than a real filter, I think. But or at least somebody told that to me once. But I, I agree. Um, anyway, let's see what this sounds like. So let's let's wire this up in our pattern here. Um, hope I'm not sure if this is interesting to anybody, but. This is what you're getting. All right, so we'll do uh, my my title stacks get really big, but this is this is just how I think of everything. So MIDI channel four, note C three. We'll do that every. We'll just have it play every four cycles. Um, we'll just see what this sounds like with the with the the Harmer synth and everything else going on here. All 
All right, let's do. Um, I'm gonna um, modify the start and end points of the sample um, from title here. So let's do. I've got some shortcuts for that. Sample start. Yeah, that's what I want. So I've already got this stuff wired up. That's great. So we can do. It's just a MIDI control change message, just like how I'm doing it with with the the Harmer controls down here. So we can do sample start. Um, this let's let's change this. We'll send this every cycle. So segment one, range, blah blah blah. Um, and this will be on MIDI Chan. It's four. Uh, and I've got my mute function, which is called G of all things. So let's mute everything here, except for the, the pad. And let's see what this sounds like. Yeah, I can see on the, the LED display that it's it's moving, it's changing. So every time the sample's triggered, it's going to start in a new place within the within the sample. I guess this sample doesn't have a lot of variation in it, so maybe it's not very noticeable. Let me pick a different sample quick. See if we can find one that maybe exhibits that behavior better. nothing to offer but can you guess what sam what this sample is ripped off from it's a, it's a it's a classic if i pitch it up you might be able to tell Now you know. All right. All right. So now, now that I went through that trouble of picking a different sample, I'm going to go back to the original sample because uh, I think it works better. So tiny little detail here. Right now I'm randomly picking between the kick drum and the clap. I'm going to change that to more of a uh, more of a predictable pattern um, based on a, this polymeter notation in title. So instead of being completely random, it's going to be kind of a on its own its own time. Uh, the other thing I could do is instead of putting the clap and the kick drum on the same pattern, I could... No, you know, I'm going to keep them the way they are. So, um, 
right, I am going to isolate the hi-hat pattern, though. So let's move that out. Um, let's do... So we'll put that below the drums here. So this is our pad. And we'll do MIDI Chan 10, note C3. Um, we'll do select pat. We're going to offset this by 1 16th. And we're going to, I'm going to re implement that stut width on the hi hat. <laughs> So now if you listen closely, the hi-hat is um, the hi-hat is happening 1 16th after the kick drum. So they're both using the same patterns, uh, the exact same pattern logic that I've got defined up here. So they're playing the same pattern, but I've moved the hi-hat over a 16th, like so. I'm going to uh, add the stutter logic to this as well. I don't think that's right. Start with, oh, I'm missing something. Oh yeah, 16th, one S, there we go. There we go, so there's our hi-hat, it's broken out. Um, I'm gonna add kind of a different kind of stutter on the kick drums and, uh, and clap. Eight, one, uh, one sixteenth, and we're gonna fade this out. Um, do gain zero point nine. Like that. We'll reverse the cycle ten percent of the time. Maybe twenty percent, twenty five percent. There we go. So I'm try and put that stutter and that synth too, see what happens. It's working, but it's it's kind of hard to notice. Let's take it back out.
All right. Uh, what else can we do? Um. So at this point, I mean, things are pretty dense at the moment, but you know what? Let's add more. Shall we? We shall. Okay, so... Oh. Hey. Pew. Oh, wait. Dude, I've got some great sounds here. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's just uh, make the drums go fast. All right, yeah, okay. You know what? Let's do, let's make this randomly uh, change its speed like every, uh, every four cycles. Actually, we've got a variable for that, don't we? How often? So, uh, so we'll do slow, how often, segment one, range, we'll do that. So we're going to multiply the time uh, the the BPM by 50% or 150% every four cycles uh, and let's see what happens Backbeat in here because <laughs> that's what it needs, right? <laughs> Why not? Why not? So we'll do. Break it down a little bit. We've 
got the, uh, we could certainly make some more patterns in here too. to uh where else to take this <laughs> um we could uh just do something completely different um we'll probably wrap this up in maybe 15 minutes or so um i'll take requests if anybody has any crazy things they think should be added to this please uh please let me know like uh you know like a detuned sob plucky thing or something i don't know Let's do that. Hmm? Uh, all right, we'll uh, engage the the uh, the synth voice of the drum machine. Let's make it plucky. Sorry about the mic noise here. Let's let's come up with the. It's gonna be mi uh, mi the first mini channel. Let's make uh, let's make some sort of melody here. I I really don't know. This is gonna totally clash with all the synth stuff that's going on. But I you know what, whatever. We'll we'll see if it works, right? Uh, we'll do a Richardson scale, cause why not? Um. making this up. Oh, uh, a key. Yeah, I've got some interstitial things going on in my in my DAW here too. Let's, let's decrease that a little bit. Um, okay, so uh, my uh, the drum machine has an unfortunate quirk where you have to um, uh, I think if I do this, I have to subtract 24 from each note um, to get it in the right range. That was, that was not the right range. Maybe it's that. I don't think that's going to go well with this. But I I don't know. Let's Let's just let's let's see what let's let's try and work with this here. So Uh... 
Uh, all right, let's just throw this in. I don't know. I, I, I have a lot of doubt if this is going to be fun and interesting and good for us. But, you know, you don't know until you try. synth is just so rich it's it's hard to create anything to accompany it save that all right you know i think uh i think we'll we'll call it we're gonna call it um yeah thanks for tuning in just wanted wanted to jam and uh yeah uh th thanks for tuning in appreciate it great to uh get a little chat from folks and that was fun uh yeah uh thanks code Novi. um speaking of it's Great to see a lot of people I haven't chatted with in a long time. So great to great to see all of you. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah, I, I hope I, I pick up the streaming again a bit. Um, uh, I'm trying not to think too hard about it. I, I just want to get back into it. So uh, yeah, I hope to see you soon. So thanks. Uh, we'll see you next time. If I can stop the stream here, I will do so. Yeah. Okay. All right. Have a good rest of the week. Uh, take it easy. Um, see ya. All right. Thanks. Bye.